Welcome back to Live Effects Network. I'm your host, Ant Live. This week, our Colorado Buffaloes go into Lincoln, Nebraska to face the Nebraska Cornhuskers and their new quarterback, Dalen Rayola. Colorado Buffaloes versus the Nebraska Cornhuskers tomorrow will not be a cakewalk. The Colorado Buffaloes defense in line must create some form of disruption versus Dylan Rayola. Welcome back to Live Effects Network. I'm your host, Ed Live. The Colorado Buffaloes face off against the Nebraska Cornhuskers tomorrow in Lincoln, Nebraska. The Nebraska Cornhuskers are bringing in Dalen Rayola, the number one quarterback in the country for the class of 2024. Now, this kid right here, he's nice. He has a complete total package. They compare him to Patrick Mahomes. He trains with Patrick Mahomes. Okay. But we have an equalizer, and that is Robert Livingston. He helped coach against Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship game when the Cincinnati Bengals defeated the Kansas City Chiefs. So we do have somebody on our coaching staff who is familiar with a Patrick Mahomes type of quarterback. This guy here, though, Dalen Rayola, to me, in my point of view, is the best peer pocket passing quarterback that Coach Prime has faced in his college tenure thus far. All right. I understand Caleb Williams and the rest of those guys, but the, I haven't seen a better quarterback than Dalen Rayola for Coach Prime to go up against. This guy right here, he's a legit quarterback, y'all. He is a legit threat, and as long as he stays in Nebraska, we're going to have to see him. I'll tell you guys something else, you Colorado Buffalo fans. You know, I've been one for a long time, since I was 15 years old. That jersey number 15 that he wears, he said, oh, Patrick Mahomes. Yes, Tim Tebow, because he says he idolizes Tim Tebow. But that is Tommy Frazier's old jersey number which I thought would have been retired. Tommy Frazier won two national titles with the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the mid-90s, 94, 95. I thought they would have retired that. So you got to be a talented guy to wear that number 15 at the University of Nebraska. So keep that in mind that this guy right here, Dalen Rayola, is the real deal. Now, keys to this game right here. Colorado Buffalo's defense must create some form of disruption with Dalen Riola to give us a strong chance to win. Now, if we can get disruption, we'll blow them out. If we don't get disruption, that means the secondary is going to have to play. And I mean, they're going to have to play good because this young man, I'm going to let you guys see it right here. He can make all the throws. just seen he does have an arm he does have pocket presence and he knows where to place the football so i can see him throwing some touchdowns on us if the defensive line doesn't create enough pressure moments on dalen rayola they have to get back there they have to create some havoc back there for him now, the Nebraska Cornhuskers team in a whole, I haven't really heard or seen of a much of a overhaul through the uh, transfer portal as far as it, for saying that they got new receivers in. I didn't see that. I haven't heard of that. But this guy that they have a quarterback, Mr. Rayola, he can create plays off of his feet. He is a very dangerous QB in our defensive secondary will have to come to play tomorrow. And I mean play at a high level for us to win this game. Yes, he did that against Utah. 
right? But what, I, what comes to my mind is this. Dakota State University, we played against them. And those guys are three stars, two stars, one star offensive linemen. And we really didn't get enough pressure back on their quarterback. Also, our offensive line, they have to come to play. It was too many times, even though Shador Sanders got sacked one time, last year he got sacked seven times versus Nebraska. We still pulled out the victory 34 to 16. But the difference is in that game right there, Nebraska's quarterback, he was not ready. He just was not up to par. But now they do have a quarterback. Now I can see this game going 48 44, 44 41, high scoring affair. Keys to victory is going to have to be in the rotation in the defense. The defense is very, very important. The defensive line and in the secondary because we do have somewhat issues because we don't know if Shallow can cover yet. You know, it is what it is. I like Shallow at the strong safety. I like Saving Rally at the free safety for Saving Rally. Nothing can, I don't believe anything can really get behind him because he has the speed and the range to get back there to shut it down, shut down any deep ball. This guy, Rayola, he's going to throw that ball deep. He's going to throw that ball down the field. All right. The game against UTEP, he showed that he does have a cannon for an arm and he can let it fly. But I don't believe at the same time that Nebraska does have the speed. I know they don't have the speed that we have, the Colorado Buffaloes have at wide receiver. This game is going to be so pivotal to the Colorado Buffalo season. And I don't want us, the Colorado Buffalo fans, to come in and say, hey, you guys said this, you guys said that. And then it's the total opposite of what we said. I want to keep it honest. I want to keep it real. I just want to keep it down the line. But like I said before, I do have the Colorado Buffaloes winning this game, even if it's in a nail biter. But our interior offensive line, they have to step up as well because they're not going against North Dakota State University this week okay last week like i said before last week even though shador sanders got sacked one time i seen too many times where guys still were putting pads on shador got guys coming through pushing shador down our center turning around zelensky's picking shador up off the ground giving them a hand to get up that has to stop we need more clean pockets for shador sanders the offensive line has to do that we cannot afford it Shador Sanders is a tough young man but all it takes is one hit the wrong hit and Shador can be gone for the season okay now we do have transfers from Texas Clemson and Michigan State and those are some big guys averaging 6'5 six, six, 350 6'6 six, six, 360 and 6 7 3 20. All right, well, I would personally like to see them in the game. Hopefully, one day they will get to see them in the game where they can form a brick wall around Shador. And I would love to see Tyler Brown maybe, hopefully, one day at the center position. That's just me, I'm just saying. Okay, but anyway, we got to get this win. Skull buffs. That is my report on this game. I hope you like what I said. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification bell if you are new. Tell a friend, and I'm out. Peace.